What's up everybody, Levi Jaco here back with another video. Um, I wanted to make a really short video, kind of giving you a, a creative way to make a single dumbbell feel a little bit more heavy. Um, this is not a, a programming method that we use very often here in the gym just because we have a full set of dumbbells, right? I don't need to usually, I don't need to combine a band and a dumbbell together um, to get the weight that I need when I can just grab a, grab a heavier dumbbell. Okay? But I've been programming more and more for people at home, um, and most people at home don't have a full set of dumbbells. Usually people have like a couple dumbbells and then a couple bands. Okay? So I've been using just a few dumbbells and a few bands to really like expand the range of the weight that you have at home. Okay? So I've got a couple different bands here. Um, these are obviously different thicknesses. Uh, but in addition to that, you can also use these bands as individual loops. Okay? So this would be like a single loop band. Okay? I'm just using one part of, the, part of the loop of the circle of the band. Okay? Or you can double it up and use the double loop band, okay? which is obviously a lot more resistance. Okay? So we can do the same exact thing on our movements. Okay? So here's just a, a couple quick ideas. I'll do a row and a press um, just to kind of show you how I've been using these different um, these different combos. Okay? So you can grab the dumbbell. Okay? This would be a single loop band okay? with a single arm row. Okay? Obviously this is not a whole lot of resistance added to that dumbbell. Okay? But if I double loop this band, okay? grab my dumbbell. Okay. Standing on that band, okay. now go to my single arm row. This is a lot more difficult. Okay. Okay. So that all of a sudden, using those, just a single 20 pound dumbbell and then a, a relatively light band, that was, I mean, just a few reps and I could already feel my last burning up. Okay. So that's a, that's a nice starting point on how to start thinking about how to uh, combine these two pieces of equipment. Um, so going into a press, we can do the exact same thing. Okay? So we use floor presses a ton um, at the gym, and I was using them quite a bit for programming for people at home as well, just because it's easy. Um, but we can go through like a single arm dumbbell press. Okay? I hold my opposite hand away. Um, just to put a little bit more tension on that band. Okay. But we can go through a single arm dumbbell press with the band. We can go decline press with the band. Okay. We can go partial reps. Okay. So half rep, full rep, half rep, full rep. Um, and you can actually use this with two dumbbells. Okay. So if you have two dumbbells, you can get a really good pump okay. with that band. But again, this is just adding resistance to a light dumbbell. Uh, so that you can continue to build strength without like spending a lot of money or having just a whole bunch of dumbbells laying around your living room or your garage or something. But combining a band and a dumbbell is very effective. Just takes a little bit of creativity. Hopefully this sets you off on the right path. 